Tidligere i dag der talte vi med journalist James Corbett. Han er bosat i Japan og redaktør på det, der hedder Fukushima Update. Det er en hjemmeside, som følger udviklingen i de konsekvenser, atomkraftkatastrofen har haft meget tæt. Vi talte med ham om baggrunden for de mange demonstrationer og japanernes voksende mistillid til den siddende regering. We see a deep distrust here in Japan from the the public and a, a pretty uncharacteristic distrust of these pronouncements from the government. So that, for example, we've had uh, rumors and reports that uh, that abortions in the Fukushima prefecture area have been uh, greatly increasing over the past year, as uh, women in the area have been very worried about what their babies uh, would happen to their babies if they were to have them in that environment. Uh, but as far as I know, there's been no official release of statistics or studies um, either proving or disproving th- those uh, reports. Og James Corbett mener at kunne forklare, hvorfor den viden ikke bliver fremlagt for den japanske befolkning. There is more than a strong indication that uh, the, this has to do with the nuclear energy industry in Japan and its ties to the uh, to the Japanese government. It becomes a, a system whereby the nuclear industry is uh, is really working in conjunction with the Japanese government instead of the government trying to regulate it. En arbejdsmetode som har kostet undskyldninger fra regeringens side. For example, earlier this month the Japanese Science Ministry released a report that now admits that they had the uh, radiation fallout prediction data in place for this type of nuclear emergency that was producing data on radiation fallout dispersion where it was likely to go the amount of radiation that was likely to fall in different areas but they deliberately held that data back for over two months they didn't actually start releasing it till the end of May and uh, that was confirmed earlier this month in the Japanese science ministry uh, report where basically they apologized to the public for having kept that from the media og nu viser den et år lange lukning af landets atomkraftværker, at Japan måske ikke er så afhængig af atomkraft, som man tidligere har antaget. Because these uh, plants are being taken offline for maintenance and because of the protest, they haven't been be- being put back online. So we've actually been nuclear free in Japan, uh, nuclear energy free here in Japan for the first time in, in decades, uh, for the last several months. And uh, what this actually has shown is that the the most Uh, doom and gloom forecasts of people who were predicting vast energy shortages are are in fact perhaps not correct about that that in fact Japan is able to to meet its energy needs without nuclear power